Good morning. Let us see how to do installation of Oracle 11G database. There are two ways in which you could do it. One is you can check your mails. You will have a Google Drive link shared, which has all the components of Oracle 11G. You can download it onto your machine. The second way is you could open up Google and type in Oracle 11G download. The first link would be the oracle.com website. You can click this. You will find uh, the various versions. We can go for the uh, 11G release too. This is in case you are having a 64-bit machine. You can click uh, and download both of these. Both is needed. Database 1 of 2 and database 2 of 2. So this is the second way of doing. The first way, as I told you, you can check your mail and then you can download what is available in the Google Drive link. So now what I've done is I've downloaded Oracle 11G into my desktop. When you open up your desktop, you will be finding the uh, documentation, the installation files, and you will even find a setup file. So what you will have to do is you will have to double click the setup file. Now, when you double click the setup file, you will be getting a window which tells starting Oracle Universal Installer, which means, you know, your Oracle uh, 11G is starting to get installed. So we'll have to wait for some time. So uh, you will get the Oracle database 11g starting are you sure you want to continue i'll click a yes so now we are starting to install oracle database 11g uh, we have to go through all these steps they are quite easy we'll go one by one the first one is to configure your security updates you can give your email id so that you get updates this is optional if you are uh, not wanting to do it, you can simply avoid doing it and you can uh, disable that particular option and then click on next. If you want to get updates, you can very much give your username and your password. I'll go for the next option. Uh, they're asking me uh, whether I want to remain uninformed. I don't mind, so I give a yes. I'm going for the next one, the installation option. Uh, there are three options. You can either create and configure a database, install the database software only, or you could upgrade the existing database. I am starting from scratch, so I'll go for create and configure a database. And then we will click the next option. Again, you have two options coming up. What kind of a system class you want? You can either go for a desktop class uh, if you are uh, doing database operations normally, or you could go for a server class where your system is going to act as a server. As of now, uh, because I'm working on my individual machine, I'll click desktop class. The same way, even because you are working on your laptops, you could click for desktop class. I'll click next. Now, this is uh, where you need to give attention to. These are things you have to remember. Okay, where your installations are happening. In a way, it's uh, giving over here my E drive. I will not change anything. Let it be by default over there. This is my database name, ORCL. So the global database would be 
O R C L. You have to remember this. You can click on next. They're asking me for a password, so I'll have to give a password. Please see that you remember this password. Please keep in mind that when you enter a password, have a combination of words, numbers, and special characters. Otherwise, Oracle would not accept your password. So once I've done that, I'll click on Next. And then they're giving me all the details about the things which would be installed over here. I'll finish off with my installation. And now you can see the progress happening over here. This will take some time. Let's wait. I've reached 27 percentage. I'll have to wait for some more time. I've reached 74 percentage. I'll wait for some more time. Uh, they're telling me that my PC needs. OK, I'll download the required files. So the necessary files are being downloaded. Things are almost getting done. Meanwhile, my database creation is also in progress, which will take some time. So our Database creation has reached 85 percentage, 15 percentage more to go. So now we've reached almost the end. Now you get a screen which tells you to do your password management. Now let's do the password management. Now in password management, you will have uh, an array of usernames. Now you will have to set password for the user called HR. Okay, so you can disable it. And then you'll have to set a password over here. You will have to remember the password. I'll click on OK. Does not satisfy the recommendation, so I'll uh, reset my password. I'll click on OK. So please remember these. This is your database name, ORCL, your system identification uh, ID, ORCL. So click on OK. So now my Oracle database installation was successful. I will close this. Now you can click SQL over here in your start menu. You will find both the SQL plus and the SQL developer. We'll go for the SQL plus. This is the screen you will get opened. Enter username. I'll give my username HR. My password.
yes and now i've been connected to my oracle database 11g and i am getting so now let's check whether things are working perfect we'll give a select query over here select star from tab and it up with a semicolon yeah so perfect our oracle 11g is working perfectly Okay, so now our installation is perfect. 